Welcome to the third instalment of our required practical videos for the new GCSE in Physics. The third required practical is all about resistance. We're going to look at experiment 3A today, which is the resistance of a wire. To help you with this experiment, you can download the instructions in the booklet format from my web shop. The web address for this is appearing on the screen right now. Inside are all the details that you need to carry out this experiment. You're going to need a length of wire attached to a metre rule to make the measurements easier. You're going to need a voltmeter, an ammeter, a power source, in this case we're using two cells, a couple of crocodile clips and some connecting wires. You'll also need a copy of the results table which is also downloadable from my web shop. We start off with setting up the circuit as detailed in the required practical notes. When building a circuit, always start at the power supply. In this case, we have two cells, the first of which you can see here, and the second here. You'll notice that they have the positive terminal marked. You're going to need to make sure that you connect them the same way round, so we connect positive to negative with our cells. From there we connect our power supply to our ammeter, so our ammeter is connected in series. Our ammeter then connects to one of the long wires, like so, with a crocodile clip on the end and that is attached to the end of our meter rule and the wire there. The other end of our meter rule is connected using a crocodile clip on our lead and then connected back to the power supply. Our voltmeter is connected in parallel to the two crocodile clips by plugging into the back of the sockets on the crocodile clips, like so. Now, before we do any actual measurements for our circuits, we do a quick preliminary investigation to make sure that we have sufficient voltage from our cells and that we can get some accurate readings at a suitable range of readings on our meter rule. So we turn the voltmeter on and we turn the ammeter on and we connect up the circuit at 10 centimeters. So now we can see we have a suitable voltage and we have a suitable current reading. We then move the crocodile clip to one meter and check again to make sure we have a suitable voltage reading and a suitable current reading. We can see there that we have some valid readings. We're now ready to start taking our measurements. These are going to be recorded in our results table that looks like this. Now in order to plot a graph we're going to need a minimum of 8 points, preferably 10, and seeing as how we're working with a metre we can go up in 10 centimetre steps from 10 to 100 centimetres. Our first value at 10 centimetres we've got a potential difference of 1.31 and a current of 0.66. We then move the crocodile clip along to 20 centimetres making sure that we got a good connection 
and we record the voltage and current again and we repeat until we get to one meter and there we have a completed results table using Ohm's law we now need to calculate the resistance to do this we divide the potential difference in volts divided by the current in amps you can now complete this results table using these results You can now check your calculations against my calculations. We're now going to plot a graph of our results. Length is going to go on the x-axis, that's the horizontal one, and resistance is going to go on the y-axis, the vertical one. We can see that the length of wire goes up to 100 and our resistance goes up to 21.27. So we need to choose an appropriate scale. 0 to 100 going up in steps of 10 on the x-axis is perfect and on the y-axis going up in 5s will give us a suitable scale. Don't forget to label your axes and include the units and now we can plot our points. Now we can add a line of best fit. If we look at this, it looks pretty much like a straight line. And there we have our completed graph. And that completes Required Practical 3A, Resistance of a Wire. Don't forget you can download the videos, Required Practical 1 and 2, and you can also download all of the Required Practical resources from my test.com webshop. You can follow me on Twitter, at CrumptonN, for further scientific news, information, hints and tips for your exams. Good luck with your GCSEs.